Okay, I am at Joaquina State Nature Preserve. It's a little three miles north of Clear Creeks. Not a big place, but I might check it out. Let's look at the back porch. Oh, we got it. Been saw our closed. Quiet area. Owls. sleeping he's quiet so I say it's a quiet area nobody in here Ah. Trying to get a dragonfly, but he flew off on me. October, almost December, or almost November. They're still out. Well, they have a, a little bit of trails here. It's nothing big. So we're going to walk around and check out the trails. Just go to Must be nine bridges out here because I've been back there. It said bridge number nine. This one must say eight. Yep, bridge number eight. Okay. Which way do we go? Pond Loop Shelter Trail. And there's some people down there, so let's not go that way. Let's go this way. Looks like they're doing some type of educational thing down there. I grabbed a trail map. I actually grabbed the last one. Pond loop. Isn't that what that one down there was? Shelter trail. Is this, go, is this a trail or does this just go right to here? It's hard to go that way. Well, let's go around the pond loop. Maybe the pond loop goes along the edge of the pond and it also goes here a little further away from the edge. I don't know. My first time here. I 
I believe, like I said, I think, I think it's pronounced Joaquina State Nature Preserve. Off of 33, not far from Clear Creeks. All right, I'm gonna stop recording because there's some people down here. Back up. Three past people. And just standing there, yakking, talking, giggling. Then over there, it's got like a little marsh. They got like a little boardwalk over there. We'll check that out and then. Finish this pond loop first, then we'll check out the boardwalk. And then we'll head back into the trails and see what the trails are like. I'll try to, like I said, I grabbed a trail map. Um, I'll put one at the end of this video. Looks like it's gonna come, trail's gonna come out to the road. Not the main road, but the exit drive for this park. Don't trip on the cable. <laughs> the nature center. This is a pond that we just walked around. Over here is a boardwalk if there ain't nobody out on it. I know when I come out of the nature center there are a few guys standing up here. It doesn't look like anybody on the boardwalk so let's go out there and do some video. to the boardwalk. There's like some little shelter or something back here. Which way do we go? Oh, let's go this way. I don't know if it's a loop or what. It definitely wobbles. So it's a floating boardwalk.
Okay. Got a little Y here. This one, I think, when I looked at the map, is supposed to lead to a pond. Another little pond. Now, this place is not open all day, every day, like a lot of places are. So if you come down here, make sure you go on their website and check to make sure they're open. I'll try to see if I can post a link to it in the description box below. But those may just be ours for the Nature Preserve building. I don't know about the grounds. It looks like they got a gate that they close. Which I think it closes like 4.30, 5 o'clock. Take me back to the parking lot. That's what it looks like. Yeah, parking lot's over there. This thing should take me out to the road or something. So I'm not gonna go that way. I thought maybe at first it just circled around this pond. But as I was looking at it, I said, eh, I don't know. And there's a parking lot over there. Probably just take me back up that direction. bench here to sit on and watch out over this little pond Okay, now we're starting on a trail. I think this is A here. I'll put what these are. I'm gonna try to remember them as I'm putting them on the video. I think this is A, and I'll put them in the description box below where each of these buildings are. Yeah, there's A right there. This is B. That does not sound like a woodpecker. This is B, it looks like toad school classroom. Here's C. Oh, this is cool. C 
just water. I don't know what they used it for. I wonder if this has a lighter. I don't know, there was C, so I'm guessing this might be D. I don't know. Stove or something, or a little area. All right, I don't know. We're gonna go this way. <laughs> Could pull the math out and look at it, but I sort of got a visual of it in my mind so. Both are a loop, but somehow this one connects to the other one. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, you're gonna come to this spot here, whichever way you go, and you got four trails coming together. One, two, which one we just come off of, Three, four. Now, we came off of that one there. What this is, I just looked at the map so I can get an idea. This is like a figure eight. These two here is a loop. If I go that way, I'm gonna come out that way. If I go that way, I'm gonna come out that way. And then they meet right here. These two are a loop. We come out that way, that way, that way, and that way will both take us back to the parking lot or the nature center. So basically that's a loop, figure eight. That's the bottom loop of the figure eight. And then this is the top loop of the figure eight. And then the other trail connects in further down on this trail and also connects in down by the nature center. Hope I'm being clear on that i will put a map a copy of the map on the on this video so you can see what i'm talking about this is the one that's red so it doesn't matter which way we go this way it's a it's a loop so we're gonna go this way like i said it doesn't really matter the trails in here look like they might be a little confusing but they're really not they're pretty easy This one's supposed to have some more letters out here, too. So far, I really haven't done any significant climbing at all. Okay, so here's where we're gonna a little bit, show the house with you. Here's where we go back. See, this is the nature center back this way, like I explained. Now I told you this is a loop. This looks like it's gonna take us back to that middle of the figure eight. And this looks like where the yellow trail either starts or ends on this trail, depending on which way you go. But we're gonna finish this one first, and then we're gonna catch the yellow trail down by the nature center, and we'll come out back. Should come, if I'm looking at the map right, we should come right out there. But let's keep following this. And we're going to take this back. Now to where we were just at. 
I tell you, they made the uh, hills pretty easy. <laughs> they give you steps. All right. That's a nice little place to sit down and chill and eat a snack. This is really cool. I like this. But I'm sort of pressed for time because I'm trying to I got one more park I want to get to before that's one bad thing about seasons change when it starts to getting late in the season November December the days get short and it's like dark at five o'clock this is E So I wonder if something sat here before this. Above, that's the original shelter. So there used to be a shelter here. And that's it right there. From 1940. Which way does it go? I guess it goes this way. Bridge number three. If the yellow trail goes up that way and circles around, it looks like the yellow trail may have a little bit of climbing. Nothing major though. But the blue trail, minimal, very minimal. Okay, now we're back at the nature center. Now we're gonna do the other trail. This one looks like it might be a little bit longer, one mile. They do have a website where there has what each of these letters and numbers represent. I don't know. I know it's, well, some of them are on the park map. But that's a lot to put down in the description. Alright, now this one here did have a little bit of climbing, nothing uh, serious. But there were a couple spots you gotta watch the trail. 
they're sort of hidden by the leaves. We're not really even at the top. There's a top up there. So we didn't even climb all the way. It looks like we're going back down. Because we gotta go back down and meet back up with that first trail we were on. Because this one joins back up with that one. And then we exit on out of the woods. Somebody slip. There's number nine. Trying to stay on my feet. Wet leaves it can be very slick. <clears throat> and it looks like there's been a few people that slipped on there already. Clearing this off with it. I don't know. Yeah, I think just by trying to judge my direction is I'm on the back, back end of this loop and that it'll probably eventually veer to the right a little bit somewhere up here and we'll meet back in with that other trail and we are sort of turning to the right here a little bit. So I'd say within the next five minutes, I should meet that other trail. That's another number, 11. <clears throat> Looks like a nice rock face over there. Weaver. The black bear. We're in black bear sightings from ninety three to two thousand eighteen.
interesting. Snake skin. History of the site. Black rat snake. More snake skin. See part of the Works there. Bobcat. Okay, I'm heading back to my car now. I'm off the trail. I looked at my app and it said all together I walked 2.42 miles. So that's the walk around the pond and the walk on the trails out on out into the woods. 2.42. That's not bad. I don't think this place is probably 100 acres. It's not that big. But it's a nature preserve. No pets, no dogs, nothing like that. Like I said, if you want to visit, make sure it's open. Like I, said, I don't know if the park itself is going to be open. I mean, it looks like they got gates where they can close it off. So you can't even get in here to park. But it's a nice little place if you're down in this area, check it out.